Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Dhrumil Manik. So after discussing about leukoplakia, next we'll move on to the discussion of erythroplakia. Now leukoplakia was nothing but it was a white patch or plaque which we were not able to classify clinically or pathologically as any other condition. So in the same way erythroplakia is what? It is a red velvety patch or plaque which cannot be classified clinically or pathologically as any other condition like there were many disorders having white patches in the oral cavity in the same way there are many disorders in the oral cavity which represent themselves as red patch like some inflammatory disorders or denture stomatitis or lesions of tuberculosis but agar unme se koi bhi lesion nahi hai then we will classify that as clinically or pathologically as Leukoplakia, so it is nothing but a red patch or plaque. Now, who was the first one who coined this term or introduced this? So, Curat was the first one in 1911 who used this term. So, he used this as erythroplasia, not erythroplakia. He used that erythroplasia. He noticed the first case on the mucosa of the glans penis, and after that, various cases were also seen in the oral mucus. Membrane. So, Curat was the first one to coin this term. It is not as much as common as leukoplakia. Jitta leukoplakia common hai, utta erythroplakia is not much common, but there are cases of erythroplakia also. Now, what can be the etiology of erythroplakia? Erythroplakia mainly occurs due to abuse of tobacco and alcohol. Tobacco mainly in the form of cigarettes and BDs, and then Along with that, you also abuse alcohol. So these are considered as risk factors or etiological factors. There is no exact etiology still found for this. Now next, we will move on to the clinical features. That what is the most common age, sex, and size. The so, most common age will be your sixth and seventh decade of life. That means elderly persons are more commonly affected. There is no such sex predilection seen regarding males or Females, both the sexes are equally affected and lastly, which is the most common site, then floor of the mouth and retromolar areas are considered to be the most common site. Uske alawa, it can also occur on buccal mucosa, gingiva, soft palate and tongue. So these are various sites where erythroplakia can be seen. So this was a basic introduction and clinical features regarding erythroplakia. Next, we will move on to the discussion of what is the clinical presentation, how is the disease presenting and then histological and treatment of this condition. So next moving on to the clinical presentation of erythroplakia. So erythroplakia is clinically presented as small extensive red velvety lesion. It is going to be small but it is going to be red extensive lesion which will have a clearly defined margin. So margins are the margins are going to be irregular, they are not going to be uniform, but you can easily demarcate between the lesion and the normal tissue. Redness is not always seen uniformly. The redness which you see in erythroplakia is not seen uniformly all the time. So in some areas it is very much red, in some areas it is less red. So it will have a small extensive red velvety lesion with well defined margins. Now there are three forms of erythroplakia. You can see three different clinical ways of presentation that is homogeneous erythroplakia, erythroplakia interpressed with patches of leukoplakia. I will make you understand all this and lastly speckled erythroplakia. So firstly is homogeneous erythroplakia. Now the name itself suggests that it is only erythroplakia which is in homogeneous form. That means bright red velvety patches or plaques you will see in the red color ke, right? bright red velvety plaques or patches in the oral cavity are seen which will again have irregular margins but which can be well appreciated from the normal tissue so this is your homogeneous erythroplakia second is erythroplakia interpressed with patches of leukoplakia Matlab, erythroplakia to hai par usme beech -beech mein leukoplakia ke white patches bhi Dikhenge. Now, you have a clinical picture that I want to say that there are multiple irregular erythematous areas. There are many erythematous areas. Uske saath saath you can see white patches of 
leukoplakia so that means erythroplakia interface with patches of leukoplakia and lastly it is speckled erythroplakia jaise speckled leukoplakia hota hai usi hisab se speckled erythroplakia that means there are going to be soft red raised or granular erythematous areas which are interface or scattered over a focal white plaque ek white plaque rahega uske upar red chote chote red color ke erythematous areas dikhenge aapko kya maine bola you have a focal white plaque and over that you have small raised or granulous red or erythematous structures so that means speckled erythroplakia jaise speckled leukoplakia tha waise speckled erythroplakia so these are the three clinical variants of erythroplakia and the clinical features next we'll move on to the histology and treatment of erythroplakia so now moving on to the histological features and the treatment of erythroplakia so starting with histological features there is lack of keratinization of epithelium jaise leukoplakia mein kya tha there was hyper keratinization but in this there is not enough keratinization over the epithelium there is lack of keratinization matlab keratin layer nahi ban rahi hai next the epithelium is atrophic matlab epithelium bhi atrophic hai in leukoplakia there was acanthosis of epithelial cells so keratin layer bhi kam hai epithelial cells bhi kam hai ab jaise ki connective tissue mein there are blood vessels or microvasculature present so as there is absence of keratin layer and epithelium layer is also less to kya hoga the microvasculature jo bhi connective tissue honge they will directly show up on the सरफेस उनका जो कलर रहेगा वो सरफेस पे अपने को दिखेगा दैट विल बी रेड इन कलर सो दैट इज द रीजन वाई एरिथ्रोप्लेकिया अपियर्स एज रेड वेलवेटी पैच ओवर द म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन क्या हुआ कैरेटिन लेयर भी कम हो गई एपिथिलियम की लेयर एपिथिलियल सेल्स की लेयर भी कम हो गई तो दैट इज द रीजन वाई मैस्कुल माइक्रोवेस्कुलेचर आर गोइंग टू शो अप फ्रॉम द बिलो सरफेस सो इस कारण रेड कलर इज See next the connective tissue will always show chronic inflammatory signs. जो भी connective tissue होगा उस area पे that is going to show chronic inflammatory signs. And if you want to differentiate or clear your diagnosis between you think that it is early stage of squamous cell carcinoma and you are confused between erythroplakia and SCC, then you can use one percent toluidine. blue you can apply with buds or you can do oral rings and you can easily differentiate between scc and erythroplakia so this is about the histological features quite simple keratinization lack of a epithelial layer will be atrophic so uske karan microvasculature ka color upar dikhega connective tissue will show chronic inflammation i hope so this is clear now lastly treatment of erythroplakia so first you need to continuously observe and take regular follow up of the patient for 1 to 2 weeks observe the clinical course of the disease you can take the biopsy sample and then conclude your diagnosis after that the treatment starts with surgical excision excellent prognosis or results are seen with surgical excision of the lesion and eliminating the risk or etiological factors jo bhi risk factors ya etiological factors hai unko bhi eliminate करते रहना एंड रेगुलर फॉलो अप ऑफ द पेशेंट शुड बी डन सो दीज आर द ट्रीटमेंट एंड हिस्टोलॉजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ एरिथ्रो प्लेक